right here at the dike, guys. My son just hooked on. He has a sheep's head. Oh. Come on, buddy. Oh. All right. Oh. Bring it over here. Bring it over here. Come on. You got it, buddy. Right in here. Right in here. Oh. Right in here, buddy. Oh. Close, close, close. Yeah! Good job, buddy. That's a good one, but high five, buddy. <laughs> Heck yeah. Hey, Daddy, is that good for baby? Yeah, no, that's good for eating, boy. Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome, dude. How do you feel, buddy? Super great. Go that's ahead. awesome. <laughs> All right, here we are with a nice sheep's head. Good job, buddy. We're going to be cooking that boy up. <laughs> good job. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a catching kick video of a sheep hen. You can see that? It's gonna be super good. It's gonna be super good. We don't need the guts, we just eat the head. My dad didn't catch it, I caught it. So I'm gonna do the catching kick. But my dad is gonna help me for lay it because knives are sharp. All right, guys, so I'm going to help my son just to fillet this fish out real quick just because obviously I don't want him to hurt himself. On these sheep's head, they have a little cheater line right here, which is kind of weird if you see it. it opens up a bit, so you can use that as a guide. So it has a big rib cage that comes across here, so we're basically going to just go down the back and follow this right here. All right, as you can see here, I opened it up there. Try to stay as close to those bones as possible and just follow down until you hit the rib cage. All right, so a sheep's head this size usually has pretty large bones, so you can just follow that right there. And uh, you shouldn't really have to worry about cutting into them. Now I got to the point where I'm getting some resistance, and that's gonna be where the rib cage starts. So I'm actually just gonna cut it right down here. I'm not gonna worry about the rib cage. There's not a lot of meat on there. We're just gonna take what we can get from here. All right, so here we have one piece of filet here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of meat on here, but uh, right here you got all these bones, okay? All these bones, so we just went right over that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There you have it guys. There's gonna be the fillets taken off of that. And then for these, just like any other fish, we're just gonna put our knife down. I still have this little $12 um, fillet knife from Walmart. All right, there you go guys, there's one. Let's go ahead and get the other one. So here are the fillets. I'm just gonna cut these into smaller pieces so my son can use them to dip into the batter. I know you can tell I have everything here, but we're gonna be making fish tacos. So let's get started. First, we're gonna have to make some tortillas. First, we need two cups of maseca, and then we're gonna just pour it in. And that's how you do it. You need one more cup. Just cup number two. We're just gonna have to pour it again, and there you have it. Now we need one and three fourths a cup of water. So we're just gonna just pour it in. Make sure when you pour it in, we gotta make it really good. Our masa is ready to rest. It's time to make our beer ready for the fish. You want eagle parts, beer, and flour. You can add whatever spices you want. First, a cup of flour. First, we have to pour it. Also, I'm um, adding these seasons. You can see. Now some pepper. A little bit of adobo. 
and this has some orange in it. My dad's got to add the beer. It's about one cup. You can adjust that wherever you like. Um, we're gonna still, you can keep mixing it until there's no bumps. Now we're gonna add our fish to the batter. Now we're gonna mix it in. My masa is ready. Now we're gonna make a few tortillas. We're gonna take a little portion. We're gonna put in the tortilla and squeeze it. I think our first tortilla is done. We're going to make a simple sauce for our tacos. We got a couple of mayonnaise. I'm going to add some lime. We're going to add a little bit of chipotle sauce. Now we just mix. Now it's just with them. Let's get the tortilla out of the heat. Our oil is ready for the fish. Now our fish is done, we're gonna make some tasty tacos. Got a little bit of cabbage. We're gonna add some sauce on the top. And a little bit of rice. Now it's time to try. Now it's for the taste test. Mm-hmm, it's good. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And also hit the thumbs up.